Hello everyone, my name is Luigi Pinguera, I'm a photographer, a graphic designer and sometimes I make tutorials and machinima videos and this is a video blog about quality versus average products and services. <clears throat> so this will be a broad topic uh, and I'm going to be talking about games, movies, uh, photography services, products, uh, this could apply to most of those things. And I decided to produce this video blog uh, before I release some other videos on my channel. <clears throat> so the main question I want to ask you, dear viewer, is is there any point in making a top quality game, movie, service, photos, a design, music versus something of a lower quality. If you get a, f let's let's do video games. Let's say we get a generic first person shooter, and if that generic first person shooter is not of top quality and it sells millions and millions of copy why would companies bother making something a game that with top quality and it only sells a small amount to use the video game terms and I'm sorry if uh, you dear viewer don't like video games but this is the most easiest term if let's say Deus Ex Mankind Divided and Alien Isolation. I think, in my opinion, those are top quality games. But they did not sell that well. Just because something is of top quality does not mean that it's going to sell. Just because the critics love your film does not mean that people will storm the box office. This is why the Academy Award nominated pictures the ones who win for best picture isn't a popular movie it's usually the movies that got a lot of explosions and gunfire that the movies the type of movies where you can leave your brain at the door a generic action flick let's say and you know I'm a fan of generic action flicks I do generally like turning off my brain but I would rather have something of quality like I've said in a previous video, I come from a country where games are expensive. So why would I spend my money buying a game or a movie or a service that's less than quality? I want bang for my buck because money is difficult to earn and I know it's difficult to earn. So, I'd rather have something of quality than of something of average. But you see, some executives, whether it be movie executives, <coughs> or the executives, big publishers in video games, or these big, huge, multinational corporations, they don't see that way. They see it that they can make something of less quality and they can sell that and get their return of an investment and make their money. So to them, they don't feel the need to make something of lesser quality. <coughs> now sometimes there's a movie, a game or a product which transcends that. To use an example, The Witcher 3. And although it wasn't as marketed as heavily as Skyrim, and it was started off as a niche. It has grown. It has become a triple A title. And the quality of The Witch Free is amazing. I don't want to gush too much. But The Witcher Free for me was a game comparable to television and movies. It has directing. I mean, how many video games have directing? It uses close-ups and wide shots, and it knows when to use close-ups and wide shots. It's not really like a video game to me. It seems like an interactive movie, and the gameplay is great to boot. 
contrast that with a shooter and I don't want to harp on it like, like Call of Duty or a, um, a a racing game like the recent Need for Speed something generic they don't put the quality into it one of the reasons that many people dislike Mass Effect Andromeda <coughs> is that it wasn't top quality the animations and the writing weren't good enough and it seems to me that the publishers did not care they felt that it could just write on the Mass Effect name and we'll buy it but I think audiences are smarter now and uh, you can see this trend in video games and movies and we want something that's smart we don't want mindless action flicks anymore or mindless action games we want something of quality I think we've grown up at least <clears throat> and it's the same with businesses as well people want quality why would you pay for a product or a service if it's done half assed right but everything is dependent on money yes I do know that some game developers and some movie companies and most small businesses actually care about their product they want to they they spend all spend their energy and their time making a top quality product putting in little details but the fact of the matter is that these industries and many others are still governed by money and props to them I strongly appreciate when a, a game developer or uh, a movie company or a small business actually puts in the effort and I really really appreciate them and props to them games and movies are not made to fulfill the expectations of its players or viewers it's they're made to get return on investment they're made for the investors they're not thinking of the gamer or the viewer or the person who's going to buy this product or service in mind they're thinking about the money and what is going to get them the most money of course of course you want to maximize profits as a small business owner myself I know what that means I understand it but I believe in anything in everything that I've done whether it's been a, a tutorial or a machinima or my graphic designs or the photos that I take at events for my clients I try to provide a top quality product and service because I don't believe that you should just turn out something average just to make money you should put some love and care and the audience and your clients will recognize that they will see that you put love and care and detail think of your favorite movies your te favorite television shows your favorite video games they put all the best ones have tiny little details you know all the little uh, pieces of character development in a movie or TV show or how eyes blink and subtle effects like dynamic beard growth for example subtle little details and people will appreciate that so I don't think it's just just to make something that is a low quality product for the most buck as opposed to making something that is top quality and for a little term investment I've hope I've made some sense uh, this was quite difficult to produce but please tell me what your thoughts uh, what do you think between top quality and average and its relationship to uh, making money and I'll see you next time thank you for listening